Hello everybody and welcome to another Elemental Shaman video. In this video we are going to be doing an overview for all the changes that are happening for the Elemental Shaman in patch 7.3. Now there's quite a lot to talk about so without further ado let's get right into the video. Alright let's get into the changes that are happening for the Elemental Shaman in patch 7.3 starting off with Earthquake receiving a 19% damage increase. To me, this is a pretty good change as it drifts us away from constantly spamming chain lightning in almost every AoE situation just to get as many static overload procs as we can, if we even got them, because RNG is kind of not in our favor. Earthquake's damage increase definitely moves us towards a more diverse uh, AoE rotation. And in fact, that we're probably going to be seeing a lot more earthquake damage on the meters now than Chain Lightning in my opinion, but we'll, we'll have to see what happens. Moving on to our Static Overload being redesigned in a good way. This is a good change. I know a lot of people on the forums are saying that it's kind of crazy and what are you doing Blizzard, but in fact this is a good change. It, it takes a lot of RNG away from us and, and moves us in a direction that is more static and um, expected. So, Static Overload, after using Stormkeeper, your next Lightning Bolt or Chain Lightning causes Elemental Overload to trigger on every target. When you use Stormkeeper, you get another buff on you called Static Overload that causes this effect. It's a 15 second buff, so you can save it, you can do whatever you want with it, uh, but you probably want to be using it, obviously, because it goes away with whenever you use Lightning Bolt or Chain Lightning. With that being said, taking away the 10% chance of RNG uh, to trigger Static Overload and being sure damn well that it's going to happen every time you Stormkeeper, in my opinion, is a plus. So thank you, Blizzard. I appreciate this change. This will separate the good shamans that take advantage of cooldowns and understanding what's happening to the extremely lucky shamans. Separating them is a big deal. We are receiving a balancing aura of an additional 6% buff to our spells, uh, excluding Chain Lightning, apparently. Uh, but this was a buff from the 3% aura that we had just a little while ago, last patch, uh, to a total of 9% aura buff to all of our abilities. Yay! Exciting. More damage. The spells that are increasing in damage as well are Earthshock and Frostshock. Earthshock receiving a 7% buff, uh, which is definitely going to help out our single target damage, and Frostshock receiving a 13% uh, buff, almost 13%, 12.5% buff to our Frostshock. This may or may not change whether we use Ice Fury in our rotations or our main builds, or if it's viable, or if we still stay with Casino slash Gamble build, or the regular Ascendance gloves and belt or gloves and eye of the twisted nether legendaries this will definitely steer some people in ice fury if they really really like it uh, maybe it'll be more competitive who knows we're just gonna have to wait and find out our mastery has been changed as well uh, not drastically not like a whole new mastery but we're seeing some number shifts our baseline chance to occur has been reduced by 12 percent uh well, actually, it's been reduced by 20%. But baseline chance to occur has gone from 18% to 15%. And the scaling of it has been reduced by 20%. So we're going to be seeing a lot less of the procs. But they're going to be doing a lot more damage. As the baseline damage proc is going up from 75% to 85%. This being said, we also have to include our Master of the Elements artifact trait that we get from our, our artifact weapon increasing the proc damage to 95.2% in total. The 12% of 85%, do the math, it's 95.2%. Our elemental overloads are almost doing 100% of our damage now from the main spell. I don't think that we're still going to be stacking mastery as much as a casino build slash gamble build is leaning more towards haste and crit, uh, but it'll be nice when it works well with our tier 20 one tier pieces coming in uh, the next raid so be excited about it it's kind of okay um, it's not really going to be a big change to us unless things steer us in the direction of 
constantly stacking mastery again. This could happen. We don't know exactly what's going to happen, but um, we'll see. We'll see. Good changes, good changes. Talents that have been changed are totem mastery, 10% lightning bolt slash chain lightning overload chance has been reduced to 5% from 10%. So uh, this just goes to show with the changes that they did to our mastery, they didn't want totem mastery to completely negate those changes or uh, not really completely, but kind of reduce the effect of the changes that they had on our mastery. So totem mastery is still obviously going to be a very competitive talent in the tier 15. So I still recommend using it if you're running with the casino build slash gamble build. Um, it's a great talent. There's weak ores out there to help you track it. I know I have some if you guys ever need them. But anyway, moving on. Our tier 20. They have finally changed something that has been bugging shamans for the longest time. It's, it's been so dumb. Even though Storm Elemental is not really that great of a talent anyway, and we don't really have a need of picking it, uh, they felt a need to change it almost last minute. So tier 20, our Storm Elemental uh, CD reduction has been changed from 1.5 seconds to 2 seconds. Fire Elemental CD reduction stays as is. Um, this still doesn't make me want to use Storm Elemental. Primal Elemental is from Primal Elemental is plus store Fire Elemental just works so well with the amount of uptime that we still get on it with casino slash gamble build i find that the amount of damage that i'm losing by going into storm elemental from echo of the elements just doesn't make sense to me i'm not going to be using it this is a change too little too late um there still isn't enough damage in the storm elemental trade it's or talent itself to really make this an attractive change but if you guys want to use it it's your ball game. Some not mentioned changes that I want to mention are the chain lightning has been nerfed by 6.25%. It went from 160 spell power on the PTR to 150% spell power. This is a, it's, it's a change. I mean, like they really want to steer us away from constantly spamming chain lightning. And I understand that, but just nerfing it doesn't really make sense. Buff earthquake, which you did. But buff it to the, where the point that we don't need to spam chain lane anymore. The static overload change is good too. That definitely redirects us from using chain laning all the time now. With the static overload change, just going into our Stormkeeper. Every time we activate Stormkeeper, we get a static overload to, to just wreck havoc on AoE. But nerfing chain lightning, I mean, like, come on. Same goes for Lava Beam. They nerfed Lava Beam by 6% as well. It went from 198% of spell power to 186% of spell power. Again, like, the only time I ever use Lava Beam really is when I'm in, like, Mythic Plus dungeons. And I'm using the gloves, and then I'm AoEing and using Earthquakes and stuff. And then, oh, I pop into Ascent as well. I'm going to continue casting Chain Lightning slash Lava Beam. So, I mean, it's not really that big of a change to nerf Lava Beam. We didn't really use it that much anyway. But uh, Earth Grab Totem also received a nerf as a 10, 10 yards effect range has been reduced to 8 yards of effect range. Yay, good for you and Viz people in PvP, like mages, feral druids, all druids, rogues, freaking rogues. Earth Grab Totem was a really great tool to just get them out of stealth. Reducing the range of it by 2 yards is a little bit of a nerf to us to kind of like reduce the chance of them opening up in pvp situations so yeah i don't really like that change obviously i'm a pretty decent pvp -er. i like pvp i do it quite often and this change definitely hurts me it hurts me in the worst way thank you blizzard all right let's move on to the next section All right, now we're going to be going over the new and improved spell animations for the Elemental Shaman in patch 7.3. Some changes to the spells that you see are going to be Frost, Fire, and Earth Shock, Wind Shear, Healing Surge, Ice Fury, Elemental Blast, and Lava Burst. We were also supposed to be getting changes to our Lightning Bolt and Chain Lightning, but as a disclosure, um, during the part of which I filmed this segment, the animations were actually taken off of the PTR and nobody understands why. I'm sure that they will be back though so if you guys actually want to see what those were about and what they looked like, Nasom actually has a video out 
going over the new animations on the PTR that was posted just a little while ago. Another quick disclosure, some of these animations will be proccing trinkets. Um, you will be seeing the difference between it proccing the trinket and it not proccing the trinket uh, just by the different panning of the angles of the camera. So you guys can sit back and choose which one is your favorite. Mine right now is the Lava Burst, but you guys can find out for yourself. Yeah, Lava Burst is still probably my favorite. Those animations are pretty cool. So now that we've covered the animation section of the video, let's move on to the third and final. All right, now we can get into the tier 21 set bonuses and appearances for patch 7.3. Now these, this tier isn't gonna be out until we actually get to the final raid, but still I'm gonna be talking to about it in this video because it is data mined for patch 7.3 and I'm really really excited about it. So tier 21 for the shaman venerated spirits is what the tier set is called. Our two piece which will definitely benefit our single target damage that we've been lacking but also still increase our AoE and uh, build variety in fact is the lava burst buffing maelstrom spenders spells two set thing. Um, each cast of Lava Burst will apply a buff to our selves, which increases the next Earth Shock, Earthquake, or Ice Fury by 10%, and it stacks up to three times. When it buffs your Ice Fury, it's buffing the next four Frost Shocks. So that's, that's what's going on there. But this is a great tier set. It's probably my favorite, this expansion, uh, for looks-wise as well as what it does for us. It's increasing our earth shock by potentially 30% right away, which is already like pretty nice increase to our single target damage, but our earthquake as well. I know we normally don't use lava burst in our AOE situations, but it's definitely going to help with a, like council fights or uh, cleave fights with two targets. This is a good change in my opinion as well. Like it's working really well with the casino slash gamble build as we constantly want to spam as much earth shocks as possible and we're, since we're putting out more earth shocks this two set is just benefiting us as well not to mention the 19 percent buff that we got from earthquake on top of that we're getting an additional potential 30 percent to that earthquake that we're casting it's, it's pretty nuts so i'm really really excited about this and the ice fury portion of it I know it's not doesn't say it on the screen, but it's data mined that it's buffing Ice Fury. It's data mined that it's buffing Earthquake. We just, I just couldn't get the actual snippet of uh, the actual tier set. So this is a good change. In fact, like I said before, one of my favorite tier sets. Um, definitely my favorite this expansion. But so our four piece, Earth Shock Overload. Earth Shock has a thirty percent chance when casted to elemental overload now if you think about this on itself it's not taking into account what our mastery rating is at all so the fact that our elemental overload when we cast it it has just been changed it got nerfed by like 10 percent. so now it's like well it got, the proc chance got nerfed but the base damage got increased by 10 percent. it was 75 percent. now it's 85 percent. not to mention our elemental mastery like trait that we have on our relics or no our elemental trait that we have on our artifact weapon which increases the damage of our elemental overload by an additional 12 percent so that's going to 95.2 percent 
uh, overload damage on an earth shock. If that earth shock crits for like 5 million, it's going to then hit the target again for another like 4.5 million damage. Like that's pretty, pretty insane. That's a lot of single target damage in one spell. So I like this. The fact that this works so well with the gamble build blows my mind because we could get back to back procs of the earth shock and just if they all overload that's insane that's so much single target damage i'm getting giddy about it a little bit so i'm really looking forward to this tier set i think it's going to make us a lot more competitive and it's going to make the gamble build a lot more fun to play that being said let's get into the appearances of this tier set my favorites are probably the raid finder version which i'm going to dread farming but it's purple and it's like very vibrant and i love that i love that about the shaman tier set it's so like troll like and i like it a lot it reminds me a lot about zandalari it reminds me a lot about the throne of the thunder tier set um with like the zandalari shoulder guards and and like the zandalari skull face and stuff this is really really cool i love the feathers on it uh the glowing feathers and how we can match this with other transmog fist weapons and shields that i i'm 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 a pretty big transmog person so this is making me really happy about this uh the other versions that i do like are definitely the mythic version i like how the f they took different colors into it. it there's a really crazy vibrant blue in there but there's also a little bit of green and some orange in the belt and i like it i like that they didn't just stick to two colors or like one color and i'm glad that they went off into a different direction and kind of just like put a bunch of stuff together or a bunch of different colors together that actually like make up maybe the fact that we are the elemental users we control the four elements so let's get some different variety of colors in our tier set i like the fact that they did that uh the heroic really one the heroic one really isn't doing that much for me just the raid finder and the mythic one that i'm really really excited about so we'll see i will definitely be farming the raid finder one even though it's gonna suck to do that but yeah i'm excited i'm excited all right so we've gone over everything you guys have witnessed the changes to our spells and our abilities all the buffs and changes that we're getting to our our abilities and the number changes you guys seen the new animations that are happening in 7.3 we've gone over the tier set bonuses and appearances for tier 21 this concludes the video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed my video please hit that like button it really helps me out as well as leave a comment and saying ideas for future videos or or definitely hit that subscribe button if you want to see more shaman content and more content on my youtube page if you guys want to see me live stream, I stream as much as I can. Uh, Twitch.tv is the main streaming platform that I stream from. So I'll be putting the links to that in the description down below, as well as my social medias, Twitter and Instagram, if you want to follow me on those as well. Thank you guys so much again for watching. This concludes my video. And as always, stay calm and maelstrom on.